who in the hell is Effie's mom? I mean, her whole story has been a mystery. Hopefully we find out in this next upcoming episode. We're going to talk about those predictions. I want you guys to stay tuned. And there's stuff I haven't told you too. It's a lot of shit happened in my house growing up. My mom always had a different guy around. And one of them liked to touch me. What? I finally worked up the nerve to tell her what was going on. Do you want to know what she did? She married the asshole. And they're still together as far as I know. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're going to be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4, Who Is Effie's Mom? Now it's been crazy fan theories about this topic of discussion for the past few years and it seems like we're finally about to get that answer. I mean Effie has been a mystery for so long we got bits and pieces of her story but we never fully got all the answers that i believe we truly deserve because we've been waiting to hear about her real story what she's really been going through since the og power and now hopefully we get all those answers right so we're going to talk about that in this video we're going to go over some of those theories that the fans have been talking about for you know the last few years about effie's character and you know who could be her parents so I want you guys to get those predictions ready and let me know who y'all think it could be. Now you guys, make sure you check out my last few videos. I dropped the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. Will Nico end up flipping on Detective Don Carter? And also check out that Episode 8 What to Expect video as well. But let's go ahead and talk about the topic of discussion. Your girl Effie and her story is about to be revealed or at least, you know, some of the key parts about her story. Now we know last season Effie told Tariq a little bit about her life and what she was going through growing up, about her moms, and basically how her moms was messing around with all types of different dudes or whatever, and one of the guys used to touch on her and violated her, y'all. I mean, straight up disrespectful. And then when Effie told her moms about it, she decided to go on ahead and just marry this sicko, right? So Effie has definitely been through a lot of stress, a lot of trauma in her life. And, you know, that was all that we kind of got last season about her backstory. Now, remember, Courtney Kemp did state at the end of season two, she said in season three, we should be getting, you know, background story of Effie's character. Um, now, that was all we got in season three. We didn't really get a whole lot of intel for real besides that story that she told Tariq. I was hoping we would get you know, more of it, maybe even see her moms back in season three, um, see her family, like we were seeing Brayden's family and all that, um, they be calling Effie an orphan, you know what I'm saying, that's what they call her on the internet, like she doesn't have anybody to turn to, to talk to like that, so this is why her character is so much of a mystery, and the fans, we want to know more about her, we want to know who the hell her plug was in the OG power, right, I mean, it's still things that we need answers to, now, we know in the last episode, Effie, after she was texting Kane while he was hooking up with Noma, her moms decided to give her a call. Now, remember, Kane was supposed to come back, but he didn't. So she was very upset. Now, when her mom called her, we know Effie ignored the call and that was it. And she walked out. So, of course, the fan theory is that her mom's going to pop up in this next upcoming episode. And I hope so. I hope this scene right here is when her mom's does pop up so we can finally get the answers on who she is and what was really going on, you know, in her life. Now, let's go over some of these crazy fan theories that a lot of people have been talking about for the past few years. Now, these are not my theories. These are just some of the things that I see the Power Universe talk about. Um, down below, you guys be talking about a lot of crazy things and, of course, on IG as well. Now, one of the main theories is that Noma is Effie's moms. Now, this theory actually was talked about last season when Noma first popped up and then when they went to Italy and we know Effie got that picture of Noma and her daughter and her pops. 
Now, we end up finding out that the girl in the picture is Anya Covington, or at least that's what they're telling us, right? Now, when this picture first came out, a lot of the fans were saying like, man, what if that's Effie? You know what I'm saying? Some fans even said that they believe that the girl in the picture was Kiki, but at the time of this picture, it was people saying that they believe, you know, Effie could be her daughter from the skin complexion or whatever. They was not believing it was Anya Covington, especially when we finally saw Anya Covington. And of course, the fans are saying, look, ain't no way that's her. That's somebody else. Now y'all can debate that down below, but as I told you guys, this is not my theory. I'm just presenting what some of the fans have been talking about for the past year when it comes to Effie and, you know, her parents, her so-called parents that we know nothing about. Now, let's just say this theory is true. In my opinion, I'm thinking, why the hell would Effie want to work with her moms like that? Especially after her moms decided to go ahead and keep messing around with the guy that was touching all up on Effie. Like, really? So you working with her? I don't think so. No, I'm saying that's just what I'm believing. I mean, I cannot see that. That would be crazy as hell. Um, and that means that Effie was lying to Tariq because remember, she told Tariq, as far as she knows, they're still together or whatever. And they got married. We know Noma, her ass ain't married at all. She about to get married to Kane. So that whole theory is crazy. I'm not knocking it or whatever because in power, you just never know. But that conversation that she had with Tariq was very serious. She was very emotional. And for her to work with Noma, and if Noma is her mom's, I think that is just flat out stupid. If this story is true about her being touched, and I don't think she's going to be lying about that. But we know Effie, she will lie to get what she wants, right? But that was very serious. And, you know... That's just what I'm thinking. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that theory as far as Noma. I mean, that would be a crazy type of, you know, revealing if it was her and Anya Covington was, you know, her half sister or whatever. But we shall see. Now, let's get to the next crazy power fan theory. Now, some fans was believing that maybe Blanca Rodriguez was Effie's mom's. Now, I'm thinking based off what Effie told Tariq about her mom messing around with that sicko. I'm thinking like, well, Blanca likes females. You know what I'm saying? We saw her with her girlfriend a few seasons ago. So I don't think it's Blanca at all. But I did see people say that maybe her parents are in law enforcement or whatever. And it could be her. Now, we shall see. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that fan theory. Also, people were saying that Mecca, maybe he was her pops or whatever. I'm like, really? Mecca, the goat of global snitching? Y'all was believing that this was Effie's pops. I mean, this power, you just never know, but I don't think so. No, I'm saying I do not think so. Another fan theory was maybe Effie is connected to Crystal Ball. Maybe that's her pops. Now, this is one of those fan theories that was talked about a lot, especially since we have not seen Crystal Ball in a while. And a lot of the fans believe that it could be a connection between the two. Now, you guys let me know what y'all think about that fan theory. Now, the next crazy power fan theory was that maybe your girl Ramona is Effie's mom's Ramona. I mean, the way that she was moving in power season six, I don't think so. No, I'm saying, but I'm not knocking it. I ain't going to knock nobody's fan theory at all. I just don't believe it. She was so, you know, caught up with ghosts. She wasn't married at all as well. So that does not go along with Effie's story. But then again, we don't know all the details of Effie's story and Effie could be lying. Y'all let me know what y'all think about your girl, Ramona. Now, of course, there are fans that saying that maybe Effie's mom has been here the whole time. Maybe she's in plain sight. Maybe she's one of the characters that we already seen and maybe they're going to give us like a big shocker reveal. Now, in my opinion, I believe it could be somebody that we have not seen before, like a new character. I know it was some fans saying that it makes no sense for them to bring in a new character at this particular time in the show. But we got to remember, it's power. They're known for doing this. They stay bringing in new characters. It doesn't matter if it's the final season or not. They will do whatever they got to do to make a story. So we going to see. Now, I do like the idea of her mom's being somebody that was in plain sight the entire time. That way, 
It's going to make us look back at old scenes and try to put things together and say, man, she was right there the entire time. And remember what I told you guys, Cordy Kemp stated that in season three, we were supposed to get more of a backstory of Effie. But what if we did? What if what we saw in season three, some of the people that was revealed, what if that was a part of Effie's story? And maybe those answers will be revealed very soon. Now we know when it's a new character, they usually give us the information like a year out sometimes, maybe a few weeks before the show starts about who the character is. We get the character description. But with this particular storyline, I can understand on why they want to keep this under wraps and that they don't want nobody knowing about it. But then again, maybe we do. Like I told you guys, what if the character was in plain sight? Now, it is some people out there that I believe could play a great mother for Effie. And one of those people are your girl, Rosie Perez, a legend in the game. Um, I just reviewed one of her last shows. Y'all know she was in Your Honor season two, a great show. And she did very well in that. So her coming to the power universe would be crazy. Like I told you guys, this is just, you know, some people I'm throwing out there. I think she will be great. One of my subs did say that they believe that Lisa Ray will be another great person as well. I mean, Lisa Ray is a legend in the game. Damn, your boy about to go watch Players Club. I mean, they might as well put Lisa Ray in the new season of Pea Valley. Know what I'm saying? Because y'all know she killed it in Players Club. And y'all know she a killer in P-Valley, not as a dancer, but maybe somebody else with a different type of a role. But y'all can leave y'all fan predictions down below on who y'all think Effie's mom is. Do y'all believe it's somebody that's in plain sight? Somebody that we've already seen before? Or could it be somebody else, a new character that they're going to bring in in the final season of the show? We're going to find out soon enough. Leave those theories, predictions, leave it all down below. I will continue to talk about Power Book 2 Go Season 4 very soon. So I want you guys to stay tuned for the videos. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It should be Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.